today with our knees in towards our chest. Forward fold, walking the hands down, 
Release your head down to the mat. Don't worry about how deep you go in this forward fold. Just let the shoulders and the body hang forward. And we'll walk it all the way back up. Let's bring the feet together. Baddha Konasana. Knees out to the sides. Holding on to either your feet or ankles. Lift up tall with the chest. Inhale. As you exhale, forward fold. Use the elbows. Press the knees out to the sides. Think about drawing your chin down towards the floor, but you don't need to protrude the head forward. Relax the shoulders. And when you're ready, maybe walking the hands forward, release your head down. Surrendering to the pose. One more breath. Cross the legs. Just bring the hands to your lap, lap. You can have them facing up if you like. We'll tilt the head over to the right. And to the left. Circle the head down and around to the right. Half circle, inhale. Exhaling down and around to the left. the other way for two breaths. Bringing the head back into center. We're going to reach forward, shift up onto the hands, or if you need to, you can swing the feet around. We're coming into a tabletop position. Wrists right under your shoulders, knees right under your hips. We're going to walk the hands forward for puppy dog pose. Hips stay lifting, chest drops down towards the mat. Maybe resting your forehead on the mat or gazing towards your thumbs. Think about pulling the chest down. And let's hold for two more breaths. Slowly sitting back into child's pose. Press the forehead on the mat, relax the arms. Maybe rotate the shoulders a little. Let the hips sink down onto the heels. We'll hold here for two breaths. If at any time during your practice you need to catch your breath, take a breather, take a break, whatever it may be, you can always come back to this child's pose to do so. When you're ready, we'll tuck our toes and find downward facing dogs. Send the hips up high, pull the chest back. Little pedals in the legs, bending one at a time. Your arms are really sore, maybe dropping straight down to dolphin's pose, resting on the forearms. We'll inhale to the tippy toes. A little bit in the knees, gaze forward into a forward fold. We'll waft the feet up. Nose to knees, maybe still pedaling the legs if that feels good for you. Is the last thing to reach the top. Once it does, rotate the shoulders down and back. Inhale, scoop the hands out and up, reach up, gaze up. Arch back if it feels good. Exhale, forward fold, hinging out the hips. A little bend in the knees. Let's set the left foot back into a lunge pose. Kind of rocking forward and back. We'll walk the right hand into the inside of the leg. Heel to that right foot out to the edge of the mat. We'll release the back knee down for lizard's pose. Tuck the toes. Lower down onto your elbows or to a block if that's possible or maybe a big pillow. Holding here for two more reps. And start to walk it up. If you prefer, you can stay holding forward. If you want to go deeper, we'll bend the back knee. Right arm reaches up and over to bind. Maybe holding from afar, maybe pulling the leg in towards your body. Just release the back foot down. Tuck the toes, lift the knee, heel toe that right foot back into center. Back heel drops down. Toes point towards the side, left arm reaches up and over, warrior two pose. 
Gazing past those right fingertips. Nice deep bend in that front knee. We'll flip the front hand up. Reach it all the way up and behind the back. Left arm reaches up and over for the elbow. Press the hand down and lean back, just like that reverse warrior pose. Release the left hand down, extend the right hand up. Reaching the body forward, bend that front arm. Reach the left arm all the way up and over, side angle pose. Left hand's gonna drop down as we flip the back heel up. Left hand glutes to the mat, right hand reaches up. Draw the belly in, twisting in towards your leg. We'll drop the right hand down, set the left foot forward, full. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend and set the right leg back into a lunge position. Back leg is straight, front knee stacked right over the ankle. Chest is lifting. When you're ready, we'll come into lizard's pose. Left hand comes to the inside of the leg. Heel toe that left foot out to the edge of the mat. Toes pointing out. Release the back knee down, tuck your toes, and lower down to your elbows. If it feels natural for you to roll out to your pinky toes, then go for it. If it doesn't, hold where you're at. I'm just listening to the body today. Take one more breath. We'll walk our hands back up. Maybe you stay folding forward if that's what you do on the other side, or you can bend the back knee up. Left arm reaches up and over to find, pulling the leg in towards your body. We'll release it down, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, heel to the left foot back into center. We'll drop the back, heel down, toes point towards the side, right arm reaches all the way up and over. Gaze past your left fingers this time, nice deep bend in that warrior two pose. Front hand flips up, reach it up and behind the back, right arm reaches up and over to grab onto the elbow. Press the hand down your back as you lean back, just like that reverse warrior pose. We'll release the right hand down, left arm reaches up and over into that side angle. Front arm bends, right arm reaches all the way up. Slowly lower the right hand down as you flip the back, heel up. Left arm reaches up, draw the belly in. Left hand drops down. We'll set the left foot back into downward facing dog this time. Maybe still pedaling the legs if that feels good for you. We're coming down to dolphins pose, whichever you prefer. We'll extend the right leg straight back, toes pointing down, pull the chest back. If you're in dolphins pose, make sure the head's not touching the ground. Actively pressing that left heel down towards the mat. Release the right leg down. Inhale the left leg back. Toes pointing down towards the mat. And release it down. Let's come down into child's pose. Sit back onto the heels. Rest your forehead down. Little rocks with the head from left to right if that feels good for you. Towards your hands, walk them over to the left side. Drop the hips over towards the right, let your head hang in. Bring the hips back into center, walk your hands through center and over to the right. Let the hips fall to the left. Back into center. We'll come all the way up to swing the legs around for Savasana. Relax down onto your back. Let the feet fall out to the sides. Any little subtle adjustments that you need to do to get your body ready for this deep relaxation. And we'll release the hands down by your sides, palms facing up. Let the feet fall out to the sides and begin to close your eyes. Clear your mind. Relaxing here for as long as possible. Practice the asanas and the poses so that we can exhaust the body in order to quiet the mind. 